Hi, this is Bilal from Spackle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Spackle Connector for Power BI. Without further ado, let's get started. Spackle Connector for Power BI is installed from GitHub. As you know, we usually install connectors using the Spackle Manager. Why? Because currently our Power BI connector is in alpha. So head over to GitHub and get to the Speckle Power BI repo. I'm going to add link to this repo in the description of this video so you can go from there as well. So once you're in this page, simply head over to releases page where we release new versions of our Power BI connector. In this video, I'm going to download the latest alpha release, but also you can install the latest stable release, right? So once you're in this page, simply go to the assets and download the speckle.mez file. So we have downloaded this file. Now let's copy this file and paste it into a specific location inside Windows Explorer. So I'm going to open Windows Explorer and we will go to documents and inside here, Power BI desktop custom connectors, right? So I'm going to go to downloads copy this file and simply paste it into here. Couple questions you might have. I don't have this folder. Let me quickly delete it. What do I need to do? Simply create one. Go to new folder and name it as power space BI space desktop. And inside this folder, again, create another folder. If you don't have the custom connectors folder, simply create one, custom connectors. And inside this folder, we are going to paste the speckle.mez file. Okay. So once you do that, you can open Power BI. So let me quickly open Power BI. Because we need to do a couple changes inside Power, BI, Power BI's settings page as well. So you probably face the same issue as I did. Power BI prompts us and says that the speckle connector is uncertified and it blocks it from running. So we're going to make a change in our settings. So I'm going to close this, go to file and go to options and settings and click on options. Once you're in this page, simply go to security, data extensions and change it to not recommended. This will allow any extension to load without a warning basically. All right. So let's click on OK. And it asks me to restart Power BI, which I'm going to do. Let's run it. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, it didn't give any warnings, which is great, right? All right, so I'm going to click on Get Data and simply search for Speckle. Oops and click on get stream by URL beta, not the structured one, right? This one. Let's click on OK. And it'll ask for a stream URL. I already have one, so I'm going to copy the URL from here. You can also use your own Spackle projects, obviously. So let's go back to Power BI and paste this URL and click OK. So it is asking for your Speckle credentials. There are a couple options you can do, but in this video, we are going to use the login method, right? I'm going to simply click on sign in. And if you're signed in, in your Speckle server, it will authenticate in the background. And as you can see, I am currently signed in. If I click on connect, it will download the data from Speckle server and load it inside Power BI. And here it is. All right, so that was it. This is how you install the Speckle Connector for Power BI. Head over to github.com and our Power BI repo, download the MEZ file, uh, copy paste it into the custom connectors folder, make couple changes in your Power BI settings and you're basically done. If you face any issues or have any questions, head over to speckle.community and share your question there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.